HbA1c basically is a, a variant of hemoglobin, normal hemoglobin that is present in all, all of our blood. So when uh, we have hyperglycemia or what we say is raised blood glucose levels, uh, so the uh, normal hemoglobin gets glycated, the glucose molecule binds to it. So how, why do we test HbA1c in diabetic patients? That is because a normal hemoglobin has a lifespan of around 120 days which is approximately 3 months. So uh, till the uh, that hemoglobin molecule is there in our blood, it tells us basically that how our blood sugar control was in last 2-3 to three months. So uh, that is why it is necessary to test in diabetic patients because when we use glucometers for daily blood glucose testing, so that is only a point uh, sugar measurement. We don't know about the trend. Maybe today you checked your blood glucose levels and it was well within normal range. Or maybe you checked one week um, uh, ago and it was like raised. So, but we are not, uh, we are not getting uh, to know what was the trend in the previous few months. Was the sugar levels controlled or they were mostly raised? So, HbA1c basically gives us an average value of your blood glucose control over past two to three months. So, I would like to advise all diabetic patients to get your H- HbA1c tested every three months. So that it helps us to know two, two major things. One is how was your diabetic control because uh, we have set parameters, set HbA1c values to know if your blood glucose levels were within control limits or not. And secondly, uh, HbA1c levels help us to predict your long term diabetic complications that you might end up getting like a cardiac arrest or a stroke, what we call as paralysis. So HbA1c values also help us uh, know about the future complications. So it is good if we get it tested every three months. Yeah, the common myth is that diabetics cannot eat uh, chocolates or desserts. So I would like to tell everyone that, uh, yeah, definitely uh, even uh, we advise to not take sweets because uh, normally sweets are very high uh, calorie foods and they, uh, you know, they uh, cause a sudden rise in blood glucose levels. But definitely diabetics can have sweets. The rule is to keep everything in moderation and home cooked food. So if you're going for some like, you know, uh, you can cook sweets at home using natural sugars. Natural sugars are like, uh, you know, some sweet fruits like you can use strawberry, uh, you can use orange to, you know, sweet, uh, sweeten your desserts or other fruits, whatever you prefer. So we can use natural sweeteners, one. Then secondly, you can use uh, sugar free and things like artificial sweeteners which are uh, non, which not have caloric value and the third thing is like you can even eat normal sweets also but then you have to uh, do a carb counting and keep your carbohydrates in check and uh, I mean the uh, rule is like you know if, if you have a good blood glucose control levels for last two three months then once in a while even if you eat a rasgulla or a chocolate so it, that doesn't cause any problem Right. The, the thing is like if you have uncontrolled blood glucose levels and you're eating a sweet every day, like people have this habit of eating a sweet after every meal, I would not advise that. You can substitute that uh, sweet with some natural sweetened food, like you can take half a fruit or you can take some homemade dessert using natural sweeteners. So that way you can uh, I mean, satisfy your sweet tooth also and keep your sugars also under good control. So eating sweets and diabetes is not an absolute no-no. But then definitely you need to know how you have to be smart enough to know how to adjust those carbohydrates. You can count the carbohydrates, you can go for low saturated fat uh, ice creams, natural sweetened ice creams using home uh, toned milk, you can make ice creams at home also. So there are multiple options, just that you have to be smart enough to eat desserts and still keep your sugars under good control.